to a Dragon Ball Z. Not one nigga can answer that question without arguing. It's impossible. If you watch both of them shows, you cannot just answer that question right off the bat without hard deliberation, nigga. That, and I don't know, man. Hey, I'm gonna have to go with. I'm, I'm not even playing. Especially if you ask a group of niggas, that's an argument right off the bat. I'm telling you, if you ask a nigga Naruto or Dragon Ball Z, it's an argument if it's, if it's more than one nigga right there. I'm gonna just show y'all. Y'all think I'm playing. This video has been sponsored by War Robots. Do you like games? Not all games, but just the best ones. Like ones with 6 versus 6 multiplayer online, with great 3D graphics, like this. If so, check the description below and join over 50 million players. So today we'll be discussing the case of Naruto vs. Dragon Ball Z. Each of you will have one minute to plead your case, and we're going to start with story. Let's begin. Alright, so I guess we're up first. Uh, we only got a minute, so I'm going to make this quick, Desmond. Alright. So our first point is uh, storyline. And as we all know, Dragon Ball Z storyline is weak. <laughs> For lack of a better term. Naruto's storyline is very intricate. Why, Your Honor? Because, who would have known that Madara was not even going to be the last villain? Spoiler alert. <laughs> Sorry. But, um, not even that. Who would have known that the owner of Chaka would have came out and had to fight everybody on Naruto? Now, I understand that that twist wasn't the best twist, but it was still a great twist. Okay? Nonetheless. Also in Naruto's storyline, lots of things happen. Lots of twists and turns. People die. Main people die and do not come back. Something that Dragon Ball Z always lacks because emotion. It lacks emotion because every time somebody dies from Dragon Ball Z, let's go get the fucking Dragon Balls. Trash. <laughs> I'm glad you got that bill. <laughs> but yeah, and uh, that's my time. Man, please. Okay, while I do agree with you to some extent, Naruto does have an amazing story. We all know that. But to call Dragon Ball Z's story weak in comparison? Nonsense. Okay. I'll, let's start like this. Dragon Ball Z is home to some of the most emotional scenes in anime history, so I don't know why you would even say that. Two of those being when Goku turns Super Saiyan 1 against uh, Frieza on Nami, and when Gohan turns Super Saiyan 2 against Cell. We can agree with that. Okay, okay. That's nice, that's nice. And also, you seem to uh, say that Naruto has story and Dragon Ball Z doesn't, but you, you're, you're forgetting Dragon Ball. That's where the story originated. That's where we learned the origin of Goku and all of his friends. Too bad we're talking about Z. But it's a trilogy. And there's, and there's, okay, you had to turn. And there's one major flaw that you forgot as well. And that's the fillers in Naruto, mm -hmm. which took up 40% of the show. Is it a trilogy? And that's GT. all I have to say. Hey, what about GT? Move on. Super, not, oh, GT is not, 
All right, that's enough. Your time is up. Next, we'll be discussing character development. All right, I'll take it from here. I feel like that everybody in here can agree on one thing. Naruto has outstanding character development. Everybody in Naruto has character development. Let me give you an example. Well, he's not an example, but Sasuke, you know, he just has talent. He just brought on talent. He always going to be powerful. But Naruto, he teaches you that if you outwork your opponent, you can get to his level. He trained for, with Jirai for two years, and now he's up there with, you know, Sasuke. And Lee did Preach. the same thing. Lee did the same thing. So, now he's up there with Neji. And now, I'm just reaching out to y'all. If anybody hasn't seen Naruto or anything, and you, and you have a goal in your life that you need to go, and uh, you, need to, uh, you don't think that you can outwork your opponent to get there, Watch Naruto, and I bet you you could be inspired to do that. Thank you. I rest my case. Oh, man. What my friend Desmond was talking about wasn't character development. It was just characters getting stronger throughout the show. What's real kind of character development is Vegeta changing his whole outlook on the show. He, he went from a prideful antagonist to a family man trying to fight for Earth. He, at the end of the show, he, he swallowed his pride and said Goku was uh, stronger than him. At the beginning of the show, Vegeta would have never done that. But as the show carried on, it developed. Another, uh, his character developed. Another example is Gohan. Completely different character from uh, what he was whenever he was a teenager or whenever he was a kid. But Rock Lee, he's still the same character. At the beginning of the show, hardworking, one-track minded. End of the show, hardworking, one-track minded. Same with uh, Naruto. Same with Naruto. Hell, Naruto has the most character development. He went from being a hyper knucklehead ninja to a smart ninja being able to defeat strong enemies like the third Raikage. Stop it. His fighting skills developed. His brain developed. Nigga got taller. He developed. <laughs> so get out of here with that dumb okay, stuff. Okay, okay, hey. Order, order. That's enough. Now, let's move over to the category of fighting. I'll take this. All right, so fighting, a lot of people would, right off the bat, say that Dragon Ball Z takes the fighting. I beg to differ. Dragon Ball Z uses a lot of fight scenes over and over again. They just show you the same clip in a different angle and then claim it's a different fight scene. It's not. Naruto never does that. They use different fight scenes every time, and people fight differently on Naruto. Uh, Shikamaru uses his shadow uh, strangle jutsu to fight most of the time. His shadow to fight people. Naruto will come at you with straight taijutsu, you know, with hands. You know what I'm saying? Naruto versus Sasuke. Last fight. Roll the clip. That's straight taijutsu for you right there, right? Rock Lee versus Garb. That's straight Taijutsu and an iconic moment of Naruto. Also, we got things like Kabuto versus Tsunade. That was such a that was a smart fight, and they were using hands. You know, a lot of people don't remember that. Because that was in the first part of Naruto. Kakashi versus Obito. Very iconic moment. Straight Taijutsu once again. Then we got Hashirama versus Madara. You know, big jutsu's being thrown. But still a different type of fighting. Do you understand what I'm saying? Dragon Ball Z, straight hands every time. And I'm not going to disrespect them. They got some real niggas over there. We got some real niggas too. Kakashi, Itachi, uh, we got Naruto, we got Sasuke. All them niggas real. Okay? They got some real niggas too. All right, but I rest my case. Fighting. We going to box. You know what I'm talking about? It's up to me. All right. I do agree with y'all once again. Y'all got some cold fights, both in intricate and hand-to-hand. -hand. But when it comes to hand-to-hand, -hand, we all know Dragon Ball Z can't be messed with. Goku is top dog no matter what. Goku, Gohan, the, the whole Z fight. Let me show you an example. TN. TN versus Napa. Can you show the clip? That's one arm boxing. Come on, bro. Come on. Majin Vegeta versus Goku. That's hand to hand. And when it comes to intricate, let me take y'all back. Y'all probably ain't seen the Freezer fight in a minute. When Freezer was on Goku, he was underwater. He made three Kamehameha's. And he threw them up one at a time to throw Freezer off. He threw the last one up and came up with it and stole it. That's clean. That's clean. <laughs> Anyways, when it comes to hand to hand fighting, you did make a point saying that Dragon Ball Z may have used the same clip, but that's just exaggerating how fast they're moving. You know what I'm saying? They're not humans. We really do this. 
That's all I gotta say. Come on, man. Hold on one second. What are you doing? I started playing this addictive game called War Robots. It has multiplayer. You should play with me. Use the download link in the description of the video so you can get a kick-ass robot so you're not a scrub. Oh, snap. Right now? Yes, right now. Hurry hold up. On, hold on. I'm not even a lot of y'all. War Robots is live. Like, did y'all see the graphics? It's really like Titanfall mobile game version. So y'all need to go download it. Go to the link in the description below and download it. Also, hope y'all enjoyed this animation. Go download the game. Click the link in the description below, you will unlock the GI Patent Plus Robot 4. Plus, by clicking the link, you can unlock Punisher Machine Guns, 400,000 silver, and 100 gold, which you can use to upgrade your robot. Okay, okay. Both sides, very valid points. But now we're going to move on to music. Hey, let me go ahead and grab this music. Man, go ahead, man. One more time, one more time. Hey, y'all, how y'all doing today? Now, Naruto music is the GOAT. I'm not going to argue... With any of these other shows, Naruto music is the go. A lot of shows do have uh, music that can almost match Naruto's music. But let's think about their theme songs. Let's go ahead and drop Shikamaru's real fast. Niggas can get down to that. Listen to that Shikamaru theme music. Not even just Shikamaru. Can we talk about Orochimaru's theme music in part one? Every time he came in, that music came on. Because you know some evil shit was about to happen. Quit playing. Okay? And I know that most of y'all not even going to remember this. Because y'all niggas don't really watch Naruto like that. Kimi Maro's theme music. When that shit come on, if you ain't crying, I don't respect you. <laughs> My nigga King Marvel's was You know what I'm saying? Akatsuki theme music. Now we already know when that whole... Oh. Mostly pain. You already know a nigga about to come through and throw something. Quit playing. Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, wait. Naruto's openings and endings, you can't handle it. They got the best openings and endings. I have to take up more than a minute for that. Because y'all niggas don't hear me. Opening five, opening nine, part one. Opening three, she blowing. Go listen. Naruto Shippuden. Opening one, got niggas live right off the back. Two, you are my friend. Stop it. Four, nigga, closer. All right, now I ain't gonna front. Naruto, y'all music is hella, hella goat. But ours is too. Let me go ahead and give y'all some examples. There can't be two goats. Cell, both perfect and imperfect. All right, I already know everybody remember Cell. You know, go ahead and drop that for imperfect Cell. By the way, go ahead and drop that. But what about imperfect? When you pull it up on Piccolo, he's like. Hmm. Hit the. Can you, okay, can you go ahead and play that for me? And what about the beat drop when Super Saiyan One came? You you know about that? Hey, hey. Mystic Gohan. The beat. It, come on, it's phenomenal. Rock the Dragon? You already know when somebody play Rock the Dragon. You want to fight. You want to fight. Even you want to fight. Come on. That's one good opening. Stop it. Get out of our face. Come on. It's done. I'm done. Okay, okay. I understand. This is going to be a very difficult case for me to give a verdict to. But let's hear your cases overall and wrap it up from there. All right, so to conclude our argument, we're just going to say that Naruto... It's just colder than Dragon Ball Z. Our storyline's cold. Our music, fire. Character development, cold. What was the last one? Story. Story. Cold. cold. So, I just said that you just have to give it a 9.5. Hey, man. Shut up. I just have to feel like that you just got to give it a 9.5. At the least. 10. I mean, I'll, yeah, that's arguable. You know, I'll argue with you, but... uh. But yeah, yeah, we won't argue with you. Oh, yeah, won't. Well, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> thank no you, problem. Thank you. I see it there. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you for catching me. But yeah. Alright, so over Dragon Ball Z. Thank you. That went through without filler. Hey, fuck you, man. And we rest our case. Yes, sir. Alright, Dragon Ball Z, in all the points, I think nobody can argue that Dragon Ball Z was revolutionary in every category. And character development, come on. They, that Vegeta uh, built the stepping tones to character development. Stop it. Uh, <laughs> come on. 
um, plot, power-ups, they do this. Uh, music, they're amazing. I have to put on my glasses to see through your lies. Fighting, they're renowned. <laughs> nice they, they were known for that. I mean, all around, Dragon Ball Z is the pioneer of anime. I don't think that can be argued. That's all I have to say. Can you see that with your glasses? <laughs> Come on now. Come on. Come on. I'm here. I'm here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, you have all given such fine, valid points. But at the end of the day, there has to be a winner. And that means I will have to give the dub to Naruto. Let's go, baby! Let's go, baby! We all know! Hey, hold on, hold on. You said what? I see that air y'all boys do too. 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 Naruto gang, baby. Naruto gang till we die, baby. But I still respect Dragon Ball Z to the fullest, my nigga. I really fuck with the strong, you know what I'm saying? They don't respect no, they don't respect this. Respect no, I'm taking a fuck with that demon DBZ though. Peace out, baby. Peace out, peace out. They're paying the judge, bro. Gang, gang. I'm sorry, it's the judge. <laughs>